what we have in place now uh, suffices. Um, and I'll explain to you what we have in place now, which is uh, we have rescues that uh, are, uh, have the ability to go and take a look at pets and stray uh, to determine whether or not they would like to rescue that particular pet that is in stray, and they have access to all of it. The public uh, will not be allowed to go to straight just to walk through. Uh, we have uh, a healthy hole area, we have an adoption area, we have animals that have been assessed and put up for adoption, and these are the areas that the public <coughs> is allowed to go to take a look at uh, pets that they would like to adopt. Uh, by the same token, if a person has lost their pet, then that person has the uh, freedom or the to be escorted uh, by one of the, the, the technicians into our stray area to determine whether or not uh, that animal has uh, actually been confiscated and brought in. Not only do they have the ability to go to our stray area, but they also have the ability to go to the intakes to take a look at the animals that are in intake. Because usually it's it's a, it's a, a day or two or a week. To, you know, when somebody's coming to look for their pet, uh, it, it, it's a close time. So it, it may be that uh, we have picked the pet up in the last day or two, or, or that day for that, for that matter. And so intake, as well as, as uh, uh, stray uh, and owner surrender are, are areas that would be pertinent to uh, uh, a person looking for their pet. And that's the policy that we have in place now. Why is the public not allowed to go through the stray area? The public, if they're looking for their lost pet, is allowed. But uh, it's already been deemed that those pets in stray uh, are not adoptable candidates. Well, they all have sense. I've adopted some people that are wonderful. That y'all don't want to adopt them. Perfect. And you're a rescue and you're yeah, a rescue. Yeah, I've been adopted individuals. There's several dogs that I have rescued from there that would have made wonderful family pets Uh, 
uh, when they get ready to vaccinate, it's looked at again through the veterinarians. They look at every animal that's under our roof. And the best candidates, the best candidates are put in healthy hold and adoption. Okay, I've read the records on your, on your, the, your ACOs fill out when they bring the dog in. There are no notes in those records about the animals they have. We can move on to the next question. Okay, I just is, want, this needs to be revisited. Yeah. We have actually revisited. revisited. Well, it needs to be revisited <laughs> until it's resolved. Oh, that was that so is the decision, the board has made its recommendation at this point. That's all well, we're going to make another recommendation. You know, I mean, it needs to be dealt with. But okay, our second question. We <laughs> This is going to be a big one, uh, so we got a good one on here. It is from Cindy and Mark Sanders, and it's not a question. State report from Flyer article. Oh. Um, <laughs> so you need to form a question. Okay. Um, um, I don't know if everyone's had a chance to read it. Um, I don't know if everyone's had a chance to read it. Back here, someone sent a copy of it that they had clicked with today. Um, you know, I, I don't even know if what I have is a question or a statement. Um, <coughs> but there's going to come the time when every single thing that happens or that comes out at MAS, that it's not going to be able to be explained away by, oh, that happened before I came. Oh, that doesn't concern me because it happened before I came. This, this man mentioned in this was promoted by you. You mentioned in the article that you had reviewed what the undercover officer had written up and that you held the fact-finding hearing, I'm assuming, and did that. And he was demoted, and then now he's been um, promoted. Um, there's just going to come the time where eventually it's going to filter it's going to start filtering further out. That just cannot continue to be the answer to everything. And like I'm saying, I'm not saying a question because what good does my question do? The answer is going to be the same. It happened before I came. I held a fact finding. He was demoted. And then he was promoted because he's an exemplary employee. And there were things in that, if you read that report, which I'm assuming you had to because you had a fact finding on it, so I'm assuming, unless you had the undercover officer in there, that report had to be part of the fact finding, that there are other disconcerting things in that report that to me don't point to perhaps an exemplary employee that deserves promotion. So I'm, I'm just going on record as saying, you, you just, that statement of this happened before I came it doesn't concern me. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's wearing thin. And you've been there long enough that, from what I read, this employee should have never been promoted. If we are to believe what the undercover officer said in the state report about the other employees, then we can't call into question about what he said about this particular employee. Thank you. Did you have a question? Do you want to, would you like to respond? Yeah, let's move on to Well, I think that's unfolding, and so there's going to be more to come in the future. And I can tell you that Mr. Mr. Andrews has had his past finding hearing, the discipline for information contained in the report was vetted. Mr. Andrews civil service employee cannot, we cannot base any additional discipline based upon I didn't ask that. for any additional discipline. No, All I made the statement was that when you have a situation employed. like that, you don't come back a year later and give them one and two promotions. That was my only statement. It wasn't retroactive punishment. It was that to me to promote an employee like that reflects quite honestly more on Mr. Rogers for promoting him than it does on the employee. I that just wanted to make that oh, I know. because I as know, things Jim. come out, there is nothing that Mr. Rogers can do to go back and change the discipline of the house. No. Perhaps. Okay, the next 
question. rewarding the discipline might not have been the right yeah. solution, but still. Uh, this question is from Jackie Johns. Violation summary for um, uh, yeah, several of the lower numbers. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of talk about it. Uh, I had all the violation summaries from November through February of this year. Right. And of course there were less, not a lot of officers out in the field writing tickets. Uh, and a lot of them just had a few. But I noticed that there's a lot of tickets being written without spay neuter at all on them. Spay neuter, spay neuter was, you know, just eliminated. There's some where they just write a ticket for running at large, nothing else. I just, uh, somebody needs to look at those tickets that they're writing. That's but so they're all going to Division two also. So like it doesn't really, I guess, matter for Division two. That's something very fair. I mean, I don't know whether, I, I, I'm saying this, I don't know, I haven't any research. I don't know whether I agree facts with what you're saying. But I think what you're, you know, that sort of thing is definitely why I'm here at these community forums. I can so, send you the form. Yeah, please do send anything you got to me. Okay. Instead of just saying but if you just have email. to look at the tickets, it'll have some.